Well, good evening, and thank you for downloading the Bob and Katie Show. We're quite happy that you've made this decision. Aren't you happy? Y- you sound happy. I want everybody to take a deep breath on three, even you, Katie. One, two, three, and exhale, and inhale again. I'm gonna get lightheaded. And exhale. Don't you feel better? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah I'm asking oh, you. Oh, yeah. Don't you feel sure. better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what would make you feel even, even more better? To do something good. To do something helpful to someone. Mm-hmm. Where you're all in luck. Patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show. If you go to patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show and become a patron for as little as one dollar a month, you'll be helping two people help their dreams come true. That's patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome, everybody, to the Bob and Katie Show. I'm Katie. And I'm Bob. And boy, oh boy, do I have something, uh, you know, interesting. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Is it started out, you were really excited. You're like, boy, oh boy. Uh, and like, it well, just I mean, kind of like, went, the expectations were already going downhill I before doubted myself. you even said what you were going to say. I, d- I doubted myself. That's what it is. Something happened, and it was pretty great. But I don't know if like hearing the story is anywhere near like, what it was like. It's, to it's kind of one of those you just had to be there moments. Is that right? Yeah. So I leave work the other day, and I'm driving down Highway 17. I leave South Carolina, and I'm into North Carolina, right? And all of a sudden, you ever like see some debris on the road as you're driving? Well, there was bread. <laughs> it was like a loaf of bread. Like, it, like an entire loaf. An entire like loaf in of like bread. Like a bag, like sandwich torn, bread. Torn to pieces. <clears throat> pieces of bread laying everywhere. Oh, so it wasn't like a, a, a together loaf. No, it, it used to be a loaf. It was pieces yeah. about the equivalent Until of a loaf. Until what I assumed it hit the road and cars ran over it. Bread laying everywhere. And I remember going, oh, that sucks. Somebody lost their bread. Well, about a mile down the road, I saw another loaf of bread in the ditch. <laughs> And I was like, oh, no. well, that's weird. <laughs> What's the chances that like, two people that's lost their bread on this highway today? Like, Somebody's going to have a real bad day. All all their bread is just going away. <laughs> another mile or two down the road, there was another <laughs> loaf of bread <laughs> on the left side of the road this oh, and it was and on the plot thicket. Yeah, it was on the, this, like, the actual <laughs> pavement, so, and it hadn't been hit yet. So it was so still it was like wrapped up. Fresh. And I'm like, why the hell is there loaves of bread <laughs> all over the place? So I keep driving. And I hit towards like the uh, the Sunset Beach area. Another loaf of bread had exploded <gasps> all no. over the place. This is a fourth loaf of bread. And I'm like, is somebody messing with me now, right? It's like Hansel and Gretel. Yeah. You followed... The bread. Like home. I'm gonna keep following these destroyed loaves of bread with two fat kids at the end in a witch's <laughs> oven or something. Okay, so I keep going, and then I get behind. There's like a bunch of traffic, and I'm driving, and I notice this one truck driving a trailer. I can't see what's on the trailer, but it's like it's like a pickup truck and a low cut trailer. You know what I'm talking about? It's full of bread, <laughs> and it looked like the top of it was moving. Like a whole lot. And I was like, what is on that trailer? <laughs> and I get closer. Yeah, I can tell you what used to be on <laughs> And there must have been... There must have been 400 <laughs> loaves of bread on the back of this trailer. And this dude, he's just getting it down 17 in his pickup truck and just randomly losing loaves of bread all over the place. There's no end to that story. It was just something funny. That happened, and I I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, God. 
But it, yeah, it was one of those low cut trailers, filled to the top, with loads of bread. <clears throat> I don't know where the bread came from. I don't know where it was going. <sighs> but he was randomly losing one or two loaves. He was probably smacking cars and exploding. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, what are you gonna do? Oh my gosh! Now here's here's something I want to talk about. Last night I was like, let's let's record a podcast. We need to yeah. record a podcast. We get this done. <clears throat> And I came up here, I set everything up, and I got it ready. Other than, like, the sound check, I was like, I got everything set up, everything's ready. And I was downstairs talking to you and your sister, and we haven't talked about this yet. Uh, your sister, Carrie, is staying with us now, and her kids. And I learned some information that completely, completely threw me off kilt. So much so... That I came upstairs, and you thought I was up here getting the podcast stuff ready. Yeah. But in actuality, I was up here going, I don't know how to handle the information that I just received. And eventually, I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm not going to tell her to come up here. I'm just going to go lay on the bed. And eventually, she'll come up, and I'll be like, oh, you know, I'm tired. I don't want to record. And it wasn't because I didn't want to record. It wasn't because I didn't have stories or information because I've got abundance of that because we haven't recorded a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. I've got Bob O'Clock stories falling out of the bunghole. Like I've got all kinds of stuff for us to talk about. But the information I got yesterday about my house and the things surrounding my house confused me so much that I was like, I can't record. And What are you talking about? I think we need to talk about that. So, at this moment in time, what I'm going to ask you to do is to go downstairs and grab your sister and bring her up here so we can have a conversation. Because I'm really <clears throat> intrigued by the information that I learned here recently. You're not going to tell me what it is? No, no. I want you to go downstairs and I want you to grab your sister and bring her up here so that we can have a conversation about this one part. And then we'll get into it. I'll go grab a chair. You grab your sister. I'll grab a chair. So. There you guys have a seat right there. So this is the information I got <clears throat> last night that I kind of wanted to talk about. I am under the impression that yesterday, at some point, you were back behind the house <laughs> And looked at our trash can. And Are you decided, talking about Carrie? Yes, I'm talking about Carrie. <laughs> oh, this is Carrie, everybody. Say Hello. Uh, you you decided it would be not only a good idea, but <laughs> oh god, the, one the best that, idea, the one that you should follow through on to to, to get inside of our trash can. <laughs> yes, and. <laughs> She loves us just that much. Jump up and down. And she would jump in our trash can. No. <laughs> well, I... Here's, I, I get it. Go ahead, I, I go understand ahead. your thinking behind... <laughs> I understand your thinking. <clears throat> your thinking was there's a lot of trash in the trash can. And it's... Correct. The we, still did, we still had one day to go. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason for that is because we have so many people in the house right now. We're just producing a lot of <laughs> So lot of much trash. garbage. Oh gosh, yeah. Yes. Never in my adult life have I ever looked. Now, this trash can that I'm talking about, it's it's like a plastic trash can, it's big like and outside, square, with the, the big lid that folds up. It's county the kind of, trash can. Yeah, you're supposed to like pull it out to the road and like let a dumpster truck pick it up, right? And you decided, hey, the lid won't close, so I'm going to stand on a folding chair. <laughs> yes. I was wondering it. how you got in there <laughs> and jump up and down. Now, I, I don't have a problem with the fact that you did it <laughs> okay. oh. because I was I've, thinking of all of us at the time. I've <laughs> known, we still got to throw dirty diapers in this bad boy. I've known you for a long time. It really does surprise me that you would be like, <laughs> I could fix this. And then you get in a trash can and jump on it. It doesn't surprise me at all. That's something my mom would have done. Yeah. My problem is... I think I've seen mom do Is that that. you grew up with this mentality in Leland. We... And for people that don't know what... We're from the country. What people don't know about Leland, and not even the Leland now, the Leland that like used Used to be. Used to be, yes. It's different. Yeah, one stoplight, 
one road that goes in a big circle but yes. has like five names because they want it to seem like it's bigger than it really is. You know, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the kind of place that like somebody puts a John boat in their front yard and eventually they're like, let's just grow flowers in it and it'll be an ornament. Yes, like that, that stuff that happens. Definitely does mm-hmm. happen. Well, here, Carrie. My house is at a development <laughs> that, has, that has HOA dues. <laughs> and uh, you, just you make it sound fancier than it really <laughs> well, is. You just don't Honestly. do that, that sort of thing. Honestly, I really wasn't thinking about your HOA whenever I was smoking my cigarette and jumping. And that's, that's another thing. <laughs> See, not you only, had, was not only were you up and down in a trash can. can. Jumping up and down, but you were doing it with the marble <laughs> hanging out of your mouth. No, on, it was not a marble. It was a mint, oh, uh, a, oh. a Newport. Newport. <laughs> Excuse me, Newport. Now here's the thing that concerns oh, me. Oh god, I can't breathe. That's the kind of thing that <laughs> we go get a letter. <laughs> that's the, your HO is going to be like. Hang on, hang on, slow down, calm down. <laughs> That's the kind of thing that makes your neighbors use the term "those people." <laughs> <laughs> We've probably been those people for quite some time. Yeah, yeah, probably. But like now, it's like, oh, for real, those people. You know, the people that had the lady with the cigarette hanging around, <laughs> jumping up and down inside well, the recycling bin. Well, Bob, there's eight people. Eight. <laughs> yeah, right? we have eight people in this house right now. <clears throat> Do you know? I'm not trying to embarrass you, but there is eight <laughs> people in this house. Do you know how many bags of trash we put in that trash can after you jumped in it? Do you know that number? Because I know that number. Please tell me, because no, I don't. Zero. <laughs> oh, no, God. I know there was at least one because I put it in there myself. Okay, so you put one in there after you jumped so on it. So she made at least one garbage bag worth hey, of room. But do the lid close? <laughs> what? Did the lid close? <laughs> I don't remember. It might have closed. I'm not sure. Did My it? point is, if you feel it's necessary to jump up and down inside the trash can, pull it into the garage. <laughs> close the door. Oh <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh I'm not God. pulling the trash can all the way into the garage <laughs> to jump on the trash Here's this is what you're not understanding. <laughs> so you you live here now, right? Yeah. It's not a permanent thing. No. The reason that you live here is because <clears throat> of what what purpose? You want to work things out, mm. right? You've yes. had some stuff happen. You want to work exactly. things out. You want to make your life better, and you want to move on, right? Yes. And do so, you think jumping on the trash? No, 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 is no, 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 no. Listen that? to me. This is what I'm. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. In a perfect world, okay. Six months from now, you got a banging ass job. You're making lots of money. You're gonna buy a big house, right? Uh huh. And you buy that house, and you move away. Now, me and Katie, exactly. we still here in this house known as those people <laughs> that had the crazy lady jumping in the trash. So when you do these things, oh my you got to think about the big picture. Now not we just, have to move. Not just the little tiny picture. And the little tiny picture was, I could probably get that trash a little bit tighter in that can. The big picture is. Carrie you know, looked at that, that garbage oh, can and said, I could do that. Challenge accepted. Yeah, the big picture is. You know, I'll be gone one day, and they can still have to live here with the notion of, you know what I saw one day inside that house over there? And on that corner lot, there was this lady with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth, and she was jumping up and down inside the trash can like Donkey Kong. Like he was trying to bust open barrels. So I'm just I'm just here to ask you. Yes. If you have the urge to jump up and down inside our trash can again. <laughs> Can you move it? Can you move it into the garage and shut the door so the neighbors don't be looking at us? If that makes you feel more comfortable, I sure will, Bob. Oh, because your country behind sister-in-law is going to jump on the truck to make sure we can fit another bag in there. We could have fit another bag in there. No, we couldn't have. It would have been rolling across the lawn. And that was another thing. Don't you get on the internet? Don't you look at things? Don't you look at videos? 
Have you ever seen the videos where the people pop out the trash cans and scare people? Um, I what, think so. What happens immediately after that? The what? trash can falls over and that yes. person inside of it hits the ground. You was jumping up and down in a trash can with big wheels on it. <laughs> You're lucky your face didn't hit the side <laughs> and your of the house in there looking and at bounce me off like, of it. Yeah. Eight they, kiwis in the trash can. <laughs> my kids saw you in a trash can? <laughs> the kids play in the trash can all the time anyway. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Katie, you made that sound awfully bad. <laughs> Our kids go into the kitchen trash can and open it and try to see what's in there and mess with things. <laughs> Reset the burrito or, out of the sorry. trash today. Carrie was in the dumpster. There is a difference between kitchen trash can and outside dumpster. <laughs> Did you say somebody ate a Dorito out of the trash today? Reset. Yeah? Yeah. Can anybody explain to me why a perfectly good Dorito was in the trash? Right? No, it was Mason's. He hey, didn't finish it. Hey. Oh. It sat up there for like two hours. Yeah, Mason it was really like stale. Mason wasn't sure if he was going to come back. Was like, oh, this is a good. <laughs> yeah, he saw it as a window of opportunity. I get that. You got to, you know, you got to take it where you can get it, I guess. You know, he, he doesn't have a job. He doesn't have money, transportation. For Christ's sake, he's only 15 months old. He's got to get the food wherever you can get it. True. He just had to have Poor him. Or a oh, yeah. And when I closed it and told him, because it was more. And he could see him in there. And he was hot. He wanted the rest of the Doritos. Be like, there is perfectly good Doritos in that trash can right there. He got Did mad it? at you. <clears throat> That's why he was scraping earlier. It's because he wanted crackers. He wanted crackers. <laughs> Snack. Snack. <laughs> Didn't you have a story, speaking of kids, about... You said something about Riley in the bathroom or something like that. Didn't you have that going on? You know what? While you're looking for it, I'll do some business. But what we have to talk about real fast is we're going to feature a song this episode. Pretty good song. I think it's pretty great, pretty catchy, and uh, pretty amazing, to be honest with you. It's a good song. So we're going to be featuring Best Life by MXPX. And do you know the story behind this yet? I'm not sure. Okay. They, uh... Oh like, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about a different song. Well, then I'll yeah. tell. I'll tell Carrie because she doesn't know. So about a year ago, they released a beer with this brewery company. I can't remember yes. the name of the brewery company. Sorry, Silver. Oh, that's right, Silver City, City something brewing. Uh, I don't remember. MXPX.com. You can look it up there. Well, I like beer, so you need to send me the package, please. They all can hear that you like beer. Yes, they all can hear. I'm it. sure they can. Yes. Thank you. So uh, they put out this beer, and it did well, apparently. <laughs> Katie and I didn't order it because we don't drink beer. I really wanted the can, but you have to you know, you have to order by the case. And I was like, I don't really – I can't – I wanted to get it, but I just didn't – buying a case of beer when you don't drink beer seemed kind well, of look, outrageous. Look, I, I'm, now I regret I, yes, it, though. I'm your number one tester here. I regret it. Look, I regret uh, not my, buying that beer uh, because I could have – at least if I bought the case of it, I could have had a, a can up here in the studio somewhere. But exactly. I, didn't, I didn't buy it because I don't drink it. Now I regret it. But <clears throat> But now they have another one. They've released another beer, and it's called Best Life, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. I don't even drink beer, and I'm like, i got to have some of that beer. Well, I'd like some of that Is beer, it a commercial? Please. It wasn't a commercial, but that's what I'm getting to. They wrote a song. MXPX wrote a song, and it's way different than what they normally do. Not way different, but it's different. But it, it's revolved around beer and drinking, and it's, I love it. I love it. So, Let's hear the song. We're, you, you've never done one of these episodes before. What we do is we talk about it, who they are, and then at the end of the episode, we play the song. All right. That's so fine. So if everybody holds tight... <laughs> As soon as I say, find your laugh, Katie says, find your happy, then we'll play the song at the end. But it's super catchy. It starts on the acoustic guitar. Of course, Mike can sing. The band is incredible. Yuri's drums into it sound great. So hang out, listen to it. And if you like it, you can find it on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, all those places that stream music, mxpx.com. I don't think they have any shows lined up at the moment, but they're always popping them out there, and they always freaking sell out. Isn't that crazy? No. Yes. Like, how long? Once upon a time. What are you gibbering about? What? I said we were once them, once upon a time. We were once them. Put the drink down. No, no more drinks. Who were we? We were the ones we were, that <clears throat> We were once the them, once upon a time. I'm 
steal them. <laughs> oh, hush. No, we, seriously. Go ahead. Where once then, once upon a time, we bought the tickets. And I'm we not were editing there. any of this out. <laughs> This is the, send the beer. Thank you. This is perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I'm, we're gonna have you on so much more often. Oh my goodness! So much more often. Yeah. I don't know what she said, but <laughs> what I'm telling you, <laughs> listeners, is hang out after the episode. We're gonna play the song. You can go to mxpx.com, and they selling the beer, making the music, selling the merch. They're popping on all cylinders and the best part what i love about it the most not signed they're doing this stuff on their own mm-hmm. and that's awesome. the way it should be man yes like getting out don't worry about these people in these buildings up here going hey this is what you should do they just do what they want to do and they make it work like and it's crazy good so hang out listen to the song have fun what was your story about riley in the bathroom <clears throat> I don't remember. Hang on, I need to spill water. There's a lot of stories with Riley in the bathroom. You know I must stepped and pee last night? Did Riley pee on the floor? I think so. Yes, I walked into the bathroom. He's done so and much like splatters of pee on the floor. And I, I knew it was either Riley or Mason. Yep, one of them. Yes. Mason being <laughs> Carrie's son. He's seven. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Lots of little male penises walking around my house. <laughs> there's peeing all over the place. There's five children in this house, and all of them are, are boys except for yeah. Reagan. But yes. you know what? You can clean oh, up my. pee. It's not that difficult. What scares me is y'all two them them clocks about to link up and sync <sighs> up, whatever it's called. Both y'all gonna be pissed oh, off yeah. at the she same was time. Like, what last week? Freaks me out. And I'm this. It's, cl- so. it's, it's pretty getting close. close. Yep. Getting close. <clears throat> getting close. Tell yes. me your story. So anyway. Riley, the other day he had gone to the bathroom and he pooped. And, you know, they can't wipe their own butts yet. So he calls me. And he's done this lately. And the other day was the first time that I finally just asked him about it. Because, like, okay, he's getting all grown or so he thinks. So when he poops, he'll call me in there to, to wipe him. But he flushes before I get there. Yeah. And he's just like, Mommy, I already flushed. Like, he doesn't want me to see it or something. Don't look at my poop, Mommy. Because, like, <laughs> he's grown. Like, you, this is the grown-up thing to do. Yeah. And he always has what he calls paper toilet. Because that's what he calls the toilet paper. I don't know why. The paper toilet. He always has it pulled off and ready for me. Yeah. But it's only been one ply. Right. right. The other so it's like a there. strip of mm-hmm. paper toilet, but it's only one ply. Like he peeled it apart. Really? So, at like least it happened a few times, and I'm like, whatever. Like, at <clears> what <throat> point do you look at him and go, bro? I'm gonna get shit on my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> like we can't do it this well, way. Well, finally, <laughs> I asked him the other day. I was like, Riley, I said, did you peel the toilet paper? And he's like, yeah. Why? I, I don't, I, you know what? I didn't ask him why, but you I didn't I, ask him why I, what is I, wrong with you. Well, I, I said, well, where how did I, that not, how did that not fire on your brain? I, I was like, well, what did you do with it? He's like, I flushed it with the poop. So, I only need so half of this. Did he try to wipe his own butt? I don't think with so. The other ply? I, I don't know. <laughs> did you wash his hands? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. They're really good about washing their hands. Yeah, I, he, he's been like just peeling it apart. And to him, I don't know if he sees like, oh, there's poop in the potty and there needs to be toilet paper too. But he just doesn't know the, like the connection. But I mean, he knows that I wipe his butt and that we flush it. So I don't know. It's like he's gotten confused in there somewhere. I don't know. But yeah, so he keeps peeling apart the toilet paper. Like this ply we don't need. We'll just throw this away. Hmm. And he just keeps the one ply. And I'm like, dude, we splurge on the two ply for a reason. <laughs> it's we angel need soft, baby. both of those angel plies. Soft. Not devil soft. <laughs> angel soft. Use it up, devil son. Soft. Did I ever tell you what Riley said about the colander? What's a colander? A strainer. Oh, go ahead. Like, you know, it's like a big bowl with holes in it for you to drain the water or whatever off of things. <clears throat> like when you make spaghetti noodles and you gotta drain the water. I gotcha. It's colander. So I've had one. I've had the same colander for years. It was a big red plastic one. I've had it like since we've been married. 
And one of the kids broke it the other day. Somehow. I don't know. But anyway, it took like a little chunk out of it. And so I threw it in the trash. Well, Riley saw it and he got it out. And I was like, no, baby, I threw that away for a reason. It's broken. And he goes, oh, because it has holes all in it. <laughs> but I'm... That's pretty great. <laughs> I was like, well, no. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I've started a new podcast with the kids called Podcasting with Daddy that I'm going to put on Patreon. I don't know if it's up or not yet when this re- episode gets released. But that's one of the things that we did when I first talked to Riley. I was like, hey, man, why don't you tell me one of the famous jokes you got? And he tells me this ridiculous was joke. Was it about a hot dog? Yeah, he was His like, jokes are always about hot what, dogs. Yes. What, what happens when the hot dog gets in a hot dog bun with a guitar? <laughs> and he'll like, say something like, a nose. And then like, there ain't no punchline. He goes, it's a joke, daddy, laugh. And I'm like, whoa, first of all, you can't be telling people to laugh. you got to deliver this thing. Yeah, he right always does that. He, t- he tells me a joke and that it makes absolutely no sense. No. But it's so cute. The, the effort. Yeah, it's be so like, laugh, laugh. And he always it's goes, a joke. laugh, mommy, it's a joke. Yeah. And it sounds like, it's a dope. And then you it's better. Oh, yeah, he says dope. It's a dope. <laughs> now, I've already recorded episode two of this podcast. It only lasts like five minutes. It's like super short. And I brought Reagan up here today when I got home because she learned the ass word from you. I'm sorry, but that's where it came from. It did, yes. I'm sorry. And apparently she's been saying it all day. And all I, day. I talked it's to her. It's been several days that she's been saying it to me because it's like she knows it'll get a rise. She knows she's not supposed to. I talked to her while I was at work today because you, you had called me and you wanted me to say something to her. And I was like, you can't. You can't say that word. It's not okay. It's not It's not for little princesses. It's like she says things like she looks at me and goes, I'm going to beat your ass. I'm going to kick your ass out the house. And like, it just is really, it's not like she's just dropping it. She's like saying really malicious and I things. Know I've never said that before. I know I've said the ass. Oh, yeah, she word, told me one day she was I'm like, I'm not going to kick you out the she house. She looked at me the other day and said, I'm going to cut you. <laughs> And, like, I know that that's something I've said, but I don't say that in front of my kids. So I brought her up here tonight, and I was like, hey, baby, you know I brought you up here? She's like, no. And I was like, do you want to record a podcast with Daddy? Yeah. Heck yeah. And I put her in a chair, and I was like, so tell me about this word you've been saying. And she's like, Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Is that what she said? It was something like that. Like, she didn't want to admit to it. But eventually, I, I had to lean over, and I go, look, you're not in trouble. I just want to talk about it. And then she talked about it. So we talked about, you know, bad words and promises and Halloween. And it was a, it was a pretty cool little thing. So I haven't heard it. I want to hear it. I have, it's, it's still on the zoom. I haven't even put on the computer or anything yet. I got to get some music and get it all together. I didn't think, I didn't think it was going to be a big thing. I just did it for fun. And I put this little, the kids love it though. I put this little artwork together and I threw it on this, uh, this podcast group I'm in and people are like chomping at the bits to hear it. And I even said, I was like, it's not good. It is a four-year-old talking gibberish. Well, that's the fun of them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. And people they, are like, oh, my God, give me a link. They're big enough where they can have conversations yeah. with you. And they they make perfect sense most of the time. And but then they sprinkle in these little nuggets of surprises of things that just take you so – you know, they, they just I – don't, I, I don't even have words right now. My mind is blank. Bob. It shocks you. You'll have to do one with Mason. Oh, that would be fun. Mason. I can like mark it out and put podcasting with Uncle Bob instead yeah. of like, with Daddy. I'll do yeah. that for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Mason, Mason would love is, that. That would be episode three. Seven, episode so. three. All of our nieces and nephews, I mean, like you find that right subject uh-huh. that they're oh, into. Yeah. And yeah, they will talk. If you guys are interested in hearing this, go to patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie show. I want to talk about something that made me angry today. Okay. And I think it made me angry for no reason, but like I couldn't drop it. I'm in this no. group. No. I'm in this group <laughs> on Facebook called oh Wilm- my God, Wilmington Yard Facebook. Sales. Oh my gosh. And I don't I haven't even even bought anything. Like I've never like seen a Did post. Did you get kicked out? No, I didn't get kicked out. Let me tell the story. I've never seen anything on here and been like, oh, let me message this person, I gotta buy it. I just happened to be in the group because I thought, hey, maybe one day I'll see yeah. something and be like, oh, I gotta jump on that. I've been in this group for like over a year. 
And every now and then I'll just get notifications from Facebook. They're yeah. like, oh, this person wrote something in this group. I don't even know this person. What about this post? Did Facebook like Fat Bob will like it? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. So anyways, I've that heard. happened today. And for some reason I was like, I'll read the post. Whatever. It's just a lie. It goes out sometimes. It's okay. It flickers. Let me read you this post that somebody put up, okay? And this is from a, a lady named Jasmine. In search of puppy. I need to buy a puppy as a Christmas present. I won't be able to get it until the second week of December, but if anyone has any expecting dogs, I'm looking to reserve a puppy. The puppy can be up to a year old, but no older. Looking for recommendations. You wouldn't believe the dick bags that responded to this post. Like, I, I read some of them and I'm like, this is out of control. You mean people being mean? Yeah. I don't think this belongs on our show, but I just saw it and I was, I, I, I it was crazy. So let me read you just a couple. Um, the first one is from this lady named Taylor in all caps. So she's yelling, adopt, don't shop. Really? Be like, woman, you didn't give us an answer. <clears throat> You know, she's got this, she has, she has blonde hair coming down her shoulders. She looks like the person that would say something like that. You know what I'm talking about? You know, you know, you, you know, when you see them, um, let's, let's read real. It's, uh, this is another one. Dogs aren't house accessories or toy Christmas puppy, bad idea. First of all, your sentence don't connect right, you know? And secondly, who do you, wh- wh- who are you to say anything like that to this lady? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you don't know her. You don't know her life. Animal for your child. For oh, Christmas. and this dude's this dude's name is Mark. Mark. Mark Lee. I'm gonna throw names out there because I'm sick of people on the internet that feel like just because they have an opinion should say something. You're not smart enough to put all the words in your sentence. You definitely shouldn't be putting thoughts out there for people to read. That's how I feel about it. I don't even know this lady. I don't know why this thing caught my attention because I don't even really spend time on Facebook. It just, it caught me and I just got angry and I just kept reading. So Mark, I'm going to read you the sentence again and I'm going to try to like spell it out for everybody. All caps, dogs aren't house, all caps went away, accessories, all caps are back, or story, no period, okay? There's no periods anywhere in this. Or story? Sorry. Or toy, Christmas, puppy, bad idea. Let me read you the sentence again. Dogs aren't house accessories or toy, Christmas, puppy, bad idea. Go back to school, dude. You can't possibly think anybody's going to take you serious. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to get in the middle of this. What's the next one? Okay, here's the next one. <laughs> this is why I don't even really go on Facebook here, anymore. Here's the next comment. This is from Andrea. Uh, her last name is Cairo Sesodomideus or some <laughs> craziness like that. Oh, my gosh. Christmas presents don't get played with after a while. <laughs> Pets are not presents. They are family. Unless you plan on raising a life family, I wouldn't bother getting anything. Just another animal to end up in a shelter, shaking my head. What are you talking about? Oh, my. How do you even know what this woman is going to do with this dog? You don't know. You don't know who she getting the dog for. You don't know the circumstances. You don't know the context. Anything. All she asked was, does anybody have any pregnant dogs that are looking to get rid of some puppies? Because I want to get one for a Christmas present. For oh all they know, gosh. I'm serious. For all they know, her child could be dying of cancer. Yes, that's very judgmental. And she wants to get that child yeah. a puppy for Like, Christmas. I get it. I guess the, there's statistics there that say, you know, a lot of um, animals that are given as a gift for Christmas end up... Being yeah mistreated, neglected, but that doesn't um, mean this given up one for a, will. Yeah, yeah. Rid of, you know yeah. I, but yeah, they don't. The thing is, they you don't know. How You're, can you just automatically assume something like that about somebody? That is horrible. And then I commented because at this point I've had enough, and I'm oh I'm my god, I would life. know how Bob is. I, I did, actually didn't write anything bad. I said, hey, I'll reach out to you later. I host a comedy show, and I'm definitely talking about the rude comments on this post. I hope you find the perfect puppy for whoever in your life you feel like can use a friend. 
Good luck. Oh. And then somebody responded to my comment that said, dogs have personality traits from birth just like humans. Okay. They got personality traits. Cool. You never it's said never they rare. didn't. Oh I know, my I know, God. I know, wow. I know. I know. I know. It's are- never a good idea to surprise someone with a puppy unless it's for your personal household or family. Who said it wasn't? Who said that puppy wasn't for their personal household? Oh Do you think gosh. she was going out to buy a puppy just for some random mother girlfriend walking down the street? <laughs> well, you know what they say about assuming things. Yes. It's just um, dogs react differently to different people, different genders, and children. So you're saying dogs are racist <laughs> against like that's crazy. That's crazy talk. I ain't never Be seen. Be careful a dog. what breed they. I have get never seen a dog life. in my life that said. I like women better than men. Or I like black people grow better than up. white people. Get, 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 shut up. When our rescue when our rescue had a meet and greet, it is mandatory that everyone living in the household, including the dogs, attend. Our mission is to find forever home. Find a forever home for our puppies and dogs. Who? How don't who are you talking about? What place? You still haven't answered a single question that this lady is asking. About. Hold on. Does that mean wow. like um, we're going to have a family get together and we're going to invite the dogs to, <laughs> and the dogs have an opinion? I, I so, guess so. On. So say I'm still back over at mom and dad's house and I'm like, hey, sport. Hey, Max. Um, we Do you have an opinion <laughs> on y'all pissing on the floor? Um, do you have something to say for yourselves? <laughs> Anyways, I guess it was getting out of control. The admin put a stop to the, the chat, took everybody's comments off. I'm just like, man, for all we know, this lady has like a six-year-old, and she just wants to get her child a puppy for Christmas. And y'all gave her so much grief over it. That's crazy. And it's not just it's not just this one isolated incident. That's the problem. There's people constantly that feel like, oh, well, I have an opinion, so I'm going to put it out there. You know what? You're, sometimes your opinion don't matter. Exactly. Especially if you can't even like get your sentences together. So before you go out comment on somebody's stuff, make sure you have all the context. Make sure you have all the information. And for God's sake, make sure you know how to spell words or you was autocorrect. Now, how about some Bob O'Clock news? All right. Welcome to the Bob O'Clock News. A, uh, A woman got arrested, and this was in Wisconsin. Okay. A woman under arrest made a break for it, slipping out of the handcuffs while she was in the police department. Do you know what she did after she slipped out of the handcuffs? I don't know. She walked out the building. How did she just walk out? She was at the, like, the police department. Yeah. In handcuffs and just walks out the front door. Walked right out the front door. Later. You know where she went next? Where? To a hotel to meet a guy that was going to pay her for sex. How do you wow. just, you just broke out of prison, not even prison. You just broke out of jail and your first stop is at the hotel to be a prostitute. You got Priorities, some- I guess. Hold on. And what'd you say she was in there for? Did you say? Or- I didn't say. It doesn't is matter. It, does it doesn't it matter say. what she was in there for. Well. Can you explain to me why it would matter? Well, if she was in there for prostitution, she's back there doing it because she's trying to make some money okay just saying and if not she saying, was in I there would, if she was not. in there for murder would it make any difference no. well, that she, she just walked out. right the hell out of the jail no it so how long did it take before they called her it was like that night they called That's her crazy. at the hotel with the person yes. oh my gosh i mean they was on her like right away well i mean it must not have been right away if she was able to walk out the front door There was another lady, and uh, this was in, uh, it was over the sea somewhere. It it just says a British woman. Over the sea. Yeah, it just says a British woman. Uh, Went to an emergency room. Uh, Let's see. Doctors found a small dead turtle in her vagina. Oh, my gosh. Which caused a serious infection. Of course. Yeah, if 
is. I mean, like, oh I'm, my god, I'm not a professional doctor of any kind of means. I never went to school to be a doctor, but I am going to step out on a limb and say, if a turtle dies inside of your vagina, that's going to cause some problems. Well, don't they like carry salmonella or something like that too? So, uh, the 26 year old woman had been partying with a group of British friends a few days earlier, but doesn't remember exactly what happened that oh night. Oh my gosh. She had a dead turtle in her vagina. Yeah. I imagine she probably doesn't remember much. The police, uh, closed the case because the woman didn't want to file a formal complaint. Imagine that. And it still ended up in the news. She was probably like, come on, don't tell him. Shh, 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 shh. Don't tell anybody. Just, just take a turtle out. We ain't got nobody got to know about this. Yeah, but... Yeah, and now but it is all over the that's interwebs. That's national news. That makes me, like, my stomach feels queasy. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god. Yep. Probably one of my favorite stories over the past couple weeks that I heard. Um, there is this street artist. His name's Bansky, I think. i would never heard of him before, but apparently he's, like, super crazy famous. Nobody knows his true identity because he goes around and he does graffiti, but it's like really good. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? But it's still breaking the law. Yeah. But he also paints like portraits and stuff. So you can like buy his artwork, but he only wants the artwork bought from certain places. So this dude, he painted a, I I guess one of the first things that got him a lot of notoriety, notoriety, that is notoriety. notoriety in the world was a picture of a girl like trying to reach up for this heart-shaped balloon so he actually mm-hmm. painted that on a canvas now somebody got their hands on this canvas and took it to an art show and it sold for 1.4 million dollars oh my goodness the problem is this dude didn't want his artwork in a situation like that. Ooh. And as soon as the gravel fell, the piece of artwork started making noise and shredded itself. <gasps> no! Yeah, so oh there's... Oh my gosh! It like self-destructed? There's video. Like the, the piece of artwork starts just going down the frame and it's just coming out the bottom in shreds. And it stops about halfway. So there's like half of the painting still inside the frame and half of it just dangling out? Yeah. So then a day later, he puts a post on his on his like Facebook page or something like that that showed him putting the shredder inside of that piece of artwork huh. years ago. So I guess he, wow. he found out somebody was going to sell that piece of artwork and he went to the show and waited for them to sell it and then freaking self-destructed it. Now, here's the funny part. The person that paid for it decided to go ahead and pay for it and keep it. And now they're saying because of what happened, it's actually worth more money. Of course. Than the $1.4 million that they paid oh for. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. So now that I'm like. so wild. Now I'm like, hang on a second. Is that him? It, did he do this? Was he going to pay the $1.4 million, Shred it? And then, like, all of a sudden have something worth a lot more? Maybe. You never know. It could be possible, yes. You never know. Money green. It was either extremely smart mm-hmm. or, or it completely backfired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Either way, such an interesting story. Such an interesting story. That's wild. Yeah. Carrie, thanks for joining us. No problem. This was guys. somewhat of a short episode, but um, you know what? It's there. The content was good. We appreciate you listening. If you enjoyed it, go to patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie show and become a patron for as little as a dollar a month. Uh, you'll get the podcasting with daddy episodes. You'll get the one weight loss episode. We got to put a second one out there. You'll get the episodes we've done before. I think there's like, I think there's like almost 20 bonus episodes right now that you could access for one dollar. The only other place right now that you can go to with a dollar and get anything worth anything is Burger King. Is my closet. Your what? (laughs) Your closet? You selling things out of your closet for a dollar, or are you just making up stuff right now? I'm just joking. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so hang out uh, oh, afterwards. Listen to uh, "Best Life" by MXPX. 
Uh, check out mxpx.com, Spotify, Amazon. Go to the Bob and Katie Show.com, CabcastStudios.com. Check out uh, our sister podcast. Do you remember the name of them? We yeah. haven't talked about it in a while. What's Ta- the name of them? Tabletop Warriors. The Tabletop Warriors. Go check out the Tabletop Warriors. We actually got a clip that we're going to play in our next episode from these guys. I have the clip already, but I wasn't prepared and it's not ready. But uh, you can find them by going to capcaststudios.com. You'll find our podcast, their podcast. Click on it, listen to it. These guys are a uh, hoot. They, uh, one of them's an artist. Like, I mean, these guys are insanely talented, insanely talented, and they're all about geekdom. Everything comic books, movies, Thanos, and then they drink weird drinks. You got to check that out. It's pretty cool. But uh, thanks for hanging about. Thanks for listening, and uh, thanks for being a patron. And most of all, find your laugh. Find your happy. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Send out an angel and bring them a booze. Even for hearts get the blues That's our way, win or lose So many distractions, so little time Go with that urge to sit back and recline When the sunset turns red, we drink wine Dance all night, lose our minds Here's to the best life Here's to you This and the next world Divide it in two Here's to the loved ones The friends we once knew May your cup never empty Your heart never grows the blue Skin a bar with your friends. Ain't that great? Ain't that grand? Here's to the best of life. Here's to you. This and the next world. Divide it in two. Here's to the loved ones. The friends we once knew. May your cup never empty. Your heart never grows to blue. Don't let up, we must not fall asleep Make me up, I can't refuse Send out an angel and bring up more booze Even for hearts get the blues That's our way, win or lose Here's to the best life Here's to you This and the next world Divide it in two This has been a Cabcast Studios production. For more episodes and information, visit CabcastStudios.com.